So yes, Chris got the new tools into the workshop, so he's pretty excited. Yes, that is powerful. That has some powerful suction. It does 1,280 cubic feet per minute. So, nice dust collect. 45? 45. 45. And then here's the vent, what do you call it? This, it's just a dust extractor. A dust extractor. So it'd be mounted towards the ceiling, and you turn it on. This is low. Medium. High. Make it show your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so it should have came with a remote, right? You Correct. think? Since it'll be on the, in the ceiling or mounted on the ceiling. So he's going to look up, I mean, for $2.50, I think he can try to find a remote for it. So, and then another bag goes underneath here. Like a garbage bag almost. So yes. A plastic bag, but a garbage so bag. anyway, pretty happy boy with his shop. No. Have you seen the shop lately? <laughs> We're... <Okay. laughs> Oh, yes, we brought this piece over. I don't know, year, years ago, years, 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 years ago, um, we picked this up from a salvaged pick. And I, if we ever built, I wanted to make this into like our upper cabinetry, so I poured it onto it. But now that we bought a different house, I'm not changing out the kitchen, so. I think that this will be my paint display. Won't, won't this? Can you imagine it? It's old built-ins um, from an old house. So I think I'm gonna put all like, you know, all my fancy paints I've been using in there. I think it'll be pretty. So why not have some pretty cabinetry behind me? This is old, y'all, so. They would fit in these grooves. So, yeah. Like so. It's, it looks rough, but it's in great and shape, then actually. Go across it. There's no glass, but I, I think I'd just leave it open. We um, do have the door to this, though, also. Yeah, we do so have we the do door. Have the door, that door has glass in it, I believe. Yes. But, yeah, so he can just make shelves, and then I can put my fusion paint, and then my milk paint, and then all my little, just so they be pretty. So I know he said something about putting the doors on it, but I said, what happens is I grab and my hands are dirty. <laughs> <laughs> so then you're like, yeah, you know, the next thing I know, I'm getting everything dirty. So I think I would just like it to be open canvas tree. Uh, I'll probably paint the inside. I like the patina of the old wood. I think that um, um, Howard's restored finish would make that pretty down there. It's solid, y'all. So the three pieces sit on this large base. Yeah, this is a separate piece that so, I've got to tie in. It's, I've got it kind of wedged together, but yeah, it so. all just snaps together and I'm sure it's got some screw holes for it. And I don't care that it's, it is what it is, it, it, it's old. We actually salvaged it from somebody who was thought it, all of it was going to the burn pile like years ago. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, coming up with some paint storage. All right, so it's one of those rare days where Yvonne and I are not going to an auction. I don't have to work today, so today is going to be trying to remove most of the workshop. We still need to do work, so I can't take everything to the new house until we're moved in. But all this stuff over here, the wood, the windows, um, a majority of the clamps, more wood, that can all go. Um, a lot of the stuff along this wall, the wire will have to say, but these tools, they're specialty tools, you know, the router, uh, this drill set will probably say, but uh, this hutch down below that I built will be going also. This is how it looks now on the wall. All right, let's get it done.
Round number two. So the craziness of emptying out a house and then putting it into a new area is, you know, like where it's going to go, but then it seems like it just kind of gets thrown in there <laughs> because there's not like when you have a house and you've lived there for years, you kind of have your own little organization going on. <laughs> yeah, it's so stinking hot. Um, so this barn, extra barn, is just quickly getting filled up with so many things. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I know it's a stash. I know we're not hoarders. I understand that. But we still have a lot more stuff that needed to come out of our workshop. So years ago when Chris created this workshop, he did the French cleat system of being able to hang all his tools up. And the problem with our new shop is it is um, metal siding and not plywood. So... There's that that we really have to think about. He has to build walls now in the new shop. He can't just drill and set up the French cleat system as if when it was plywood like this, he could have just went right in and set it up. But because it's metal, unfortunately, he has to build walls to then put the French cleat or put cabinetry up. New shop is a little bit harder because it's not going to be as forgiving when you drill into metal. Well, right now, after I see this, you can barely see the holes that I did. Also, so. Yeah, so there's a plus side and there's a negative side to the new shop. There's always pros and cons, right, y'all? See, very forgiving. What am I doing? I'm putting all this wood, <laughs> extra pieces of parts, and boxes to take into the new house. This was his um, storage where he had a lot of his plywood and extra wood, but to take it to the new house. And it worked, but it didn't work. So he'll probably rebuild it. So like he could stick sheets of plywood here, extra like pieces of longer boards there, but it worked, but it didn't quite work. So got yeah, he's right. Everything got buried. So. So he'll probably rework it for the new shop. So he's just gonna take it apart, make it easier to take over there. And then there was one. You guys asked how my cats were handling this. Um, my other cat, Squirt, that has sat behind me in many of videos, um, had not been doing well since his brother passed away back around Christmas time. And sadly, he didn't, he's not going to make it to the new house. Um, so now I'm trying to play with Peach as much as I can with all this craziness and empty house. We decided after, after Squirt had passed that we really needed to get to the new house. Um, especially since it's just Peach. Yes, moving is definitely hard on the humans, but it's also very hard on our fur babies. Um, yeah, darn it all. But just have to keep on trucking on, need to get everything taken down, moved over, 
you know, the new owners, I'm sure, will have no idea why there were all these pieces of wood mounted to the walls in the first place. And since we can reuse them, it makes no sense just to leave them behind. So like this piece here would not make any sense if we just left it. It, it held two refrigerators and the bottom opening hold held our generator. So, and then as you see, the sound bar was attached to that. So to leave it behind, you know, unless you have that size of generator or those size of refrigerators, it's just a useless piece to somebody else. But it's useful for us in the new shop. So he's just taking all those pieces and parts. And like I said earlier, he's going to have to build some type of wall system where like this, where you see those four by, you know, two by fours. And then he'll attach the two by four to the metal wall and then the plywood. So there's minimal holes in the metal. And while he's doing that, I'm going to start taking everything out of our spray room. Yes, it's really getting hard to work on projects, do crafts and DIYs for you all when I'm slowly boxing everything up. But I'm sure going to miss our spray room until we can get another one built. Here's two pieces we do not have to move to the new house. We do not have room for all our couches. We were lucky enough to have a family member and her boyfriend would like to have them. So yay for that. <laughs> you see what I did? Uh-uh. You know, God forbid Chris ever asked me for help. I could have set up a tripod to video this, but that is just the man that he is. You know, I, I there's so many reasons I love this man, but I totally could have helped him lift that into the van. So we tried our best to protect the walls. So a couple times a year, we change out our shower curtains from the Dollar Tree store. Uh, <laughs> um just to try to protect and that's funny because that's the old shed um siding that you're seeing there and then this was a lean-to that used to have a dog kennel that is our spray room y'all when we built this workshop and then we would tarp the cement floor to try to protect that I, is it going to be perfect probably not but it'd be better than having a million coats of paint on there I do think this workshop would show better if we got it all emptied out. All these little cubbies that somebody's like, I don't need that. I don't want that, you know. Those of us who just moved into a house and had to do stuff like this, or if you've ever had to remove somebody else's stuff, you know, I do think that visually it's just going to look better just to be a blank slate. And really not more than a couple months ago, he just built this whole new system with cubbies, drawers, he had yet to put the countertop on it. So we are taking this piece with us and we said that when we did that because it holds all the tools that he buys from auctions that he needs to clean and then that way they all get separated. So this is a much needed piece if we're gonna keep doing what we're doing. I'm sure there's many of those watching going what is that is that plumbing is that septic what the heck is that it's actually dust collection so with the new dust collector yay he's so, so excited yeah pieces of pvc pipe doesn't make a lot of sense so the thing on the top is a chute that you can open and close to suck it into the vacuum system so yep gonna be taking all that down too Nothing like a little rain when you have a load full in the van. Oh, it has actually been raining a lot since we started moving, which is a blessing. Talk about emptiness. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's not completely empty, but pretty darn close. Nothing on the walls. If you followed our journey, you know how long it took us to build this workshop. There's that lovely pallet wall. Uh, yeah, a few more trips. But yes, everything, air compressor, tools, fans, French cleat system, wood, TV, air compressors. Oh my gosh, everything is 
off the walls. It's crazy, y'all. It's just crazy. <laughs> So we're here, we're in the new workshop, and we have a long way to go. Everything is in boxes, nothing is organized. Whew, yeah, I, I may have to take a little bit of downtime um, for recording to get some kind of organization going. It's just crazy now that our life our work is all in boxes, so. So nobody said the journey was going to be easy. There's the ups, there's the downs, and the down would be of having to build walls, build cabinetry. Um, yes, yeah, so here I am in the new workshop, as you can totally see how packed it is and everything is in boxes. And do I know what's in the boxes? Probably not, <laughs> probably not. So it's a, it's a hide and seek find kind of game in here. Um, yeah, so I might have to take a little downtime so we can get somewhat organized, um, and figure this all out, you know, it's, that's just how it goes. So wish us the best of luck, actually, you know, I'm not the one who builds walls and puts in cabinetry. I am blessed to have a husband that is excited 
excited. Yeah, we're gonna use the word excited to do that. Um, just so we can get some type of organization. It would have been wonderful if this shop would have had some type of cabinetry or not been, you know, the metal walls, but you know, God answers prayers differently and we needed a bigger workshop. So that was our main focus was a bigger workshop. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you're enjoying this journey. Oh, it's, it's a busy one. It is a busy one. <laughs> that is for sure. But sooner or later, we will get it all together. And I do think the workshop at the old house being open really gives somebody a, a visual of what they can do in that space. Not our stuff just crammed and what the heck are they going to leave behind? Kind of scaring them off probably kind of thing. So again, thanks for watching guys. And we will see you next time. And you can see what we're up to. Bye. Mm -hmm.